Warhammer, Wargaming, miniature painting, it can be a complicated endeavor to get into. I mean, there's a lot of different pieces to learn and things to experience, and a lot of times people are left to kind of figure it out through trial and error. What's going on guys? It's Richard here from Crash Course Hobbies, and because you guys liked the last one so much, here's five more things I wish I knew when I started Warhammer. First thing I recommend is find an intro game if you can. If you've never played before and you've just been looking at the rule book, it tends to just be a lot to absorb and it's so much easier and more fun to just have somebody teach you the rules. It tends to go much quicker and you're just gonna have a better time overall. Now there's definitely some good YouTube tutorials out there, but I find that just going through the motions and doing it repetitively is gonna give you the best results. I also recommend working your way up to a full game. So start with just kind of the bare bones rule set. Don't include your army rules for the first game. Maybe don't use command points or stratagems. And each game implement another part of the rules until you layer yourself up to the full game. That's how I personally was introduced and I found it was way more digestible. Although I still left some games with a headache after a while because there's a lot to learn. And Warhammer is definitely one of those. It's a marathon, not a sprint hobbies but I want you to get into it and have fun. So start slow. The second thing is before you do go to play, study your codex. So whatever army you end up deciding to go with, I would recommend picking the book up for it and look at your units, look at what they can do, look at your army's abilities, and at least have a general rough idea of what that stuff is before you go play. The first time I went to go play, I took my Blood Angels to the store. I was super excited, only to find out that I didn't know anything about Marines' abilities like Shock Assault. I didn't know what doctrines were. I didn't know what stratagems were. So it was a lot for me to show up to the table thinking, okay, I've got my units, I've got my data sheets, and then have my mind blown when I looked at all this other stuff that I just didn't know. So definitely do a little bit of studying before you go. Again, if you can find a buddy or a group at your local shop that can kind of walk you through all that stuff, all the better, but it definitely pays to do your homework before you play. And honestly, this goes for experienced players too. I've got a match coming up tonight and you can bet I'm gonna be studying my cheat sheet of stratagems and army abilities again, cause I don't wanna forget stuff. Next, prepare to lose a lot. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that the people you play against or teach you are gonna wanna crush you or be tryhards, but Warhammer is one of those games that takes a long time to play and you won't necessarily notice how bad of mistakes you're making at first until you make them. And the swing of I go, you go for entire turns can be difficult to grasp how much certain movements impact the game. So don't be discouraged if you get your butt handed to you for the first several games. In fact, I would plan on that happening, but that's how you're gonna learn. Next, terrain is super important. I don't know how many times I've seen people post stuff on Reddit about their game board and talking about how they lost or they got shot off the board turn one because they didn't have enough terrain to hide behind. Especially in ninth edition, there's lots of terrain involved with having a good game. So in my opinion, more is better than less if you're unsure, and when you are starting to play, make sure that you block a lot of those sight lines in the middle of the board in different areas because you don't want your armies to get shot off the board. You wanna have a little bit more strategy to it, so in that case, always default to more terrain is better. And look, on the hobby side of things, GW is not the only company out there. There's way more games than Warhammer. There's a lot of cool model ranges out there. You've got things like uh, Conquest from Parabellum. They make fantastic fantasy miniatures. I really like the 38 millimeter scale. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit more chunky, which can be fun and a nice change of pace. Also, they have a really cool fantasy world. And then you look at uh, games like Infinity. Also, One Page Rules, if you're into 3D printing, has some beautifully sculpted models that you can pick up. Also, Space Dinosaurs, yes please. And we look at the painting side of things, again, tons of companies. We've got Army Painter, Vallejo, Monument Hobbies, AK Interactive. I mean, there are a ton of them and they're all really good. There's lots of paint ranges out there that I highly recommend. Try them all, get a couple of paints from each, figure out the properties of each that you like and go from there. And just throw in a little extra one for you. The dice just don't go your way sometimes. And that's part of it. There is some randomness baked into Warhammer. So you could play a perfect game, be super strategic with how you play and you might just roll like crap. And sometimes that's just the way it goes. So don't be too discouraged. Always remember, bottom line, this is a game. We're here to play it to have fun. 
Sometimes things go great for you and sometimes they don't, but just always keep fun at the center of it and you'll have a good time. That's it for the five more things I wish I knew when I started Warhammer. If you guys have any other suggestions for me, let me know down in the comments below. And just to let you guys know a little bit of what's going on with the channel, I've got some really cool hobby type videos in the works as well, but those take a little bit longer to produce. So I like to put together a couple of discussion videos like this just to release some stuff for you guys every day. But as always, thank you so much for watching. You know, be sure to support your local game stores. Can't say that enough. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I would love it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.